Seattle unemployment rate has dropped from its peak this spring, but it's still more than double what it was before the pandemic. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. With so many hurting financially, buying holiday gifts can become a big burden. Good morning, El Paso's Madeline Audley joins us live now with tips on how you can still have a holiday meaningful season. Good morning. Hillary, good morning. The National Retail Federation is actually estimating that the average shopper in the U.S. this year will spend more than $990 on the holidays. Now, that's a luxury that not everyone can afford, and a local psychologist says you should not feel compelled to. Dr. Melanie Longhurst says that if you are hurting financially this holiday season, you should consider having an open and honest conversation with the other members of your family. Consider making it a household activity where you make homemade gifts using supplies you already own. Dr. Longhurst says those gifts can often be more meaningful. She recommends framing photos or even putting together a collage. Another idea, pair packages of essential items or try a gift exchange. Instead of buying a gift for everyone, each person will just focus on one other person. Most importantly, take stock of what the holiday is really about. Dr. Longhurst says you can use it as a time to come together. During the pandemic, it might mean virtual dinners or even virtual game nights. She recommends taking the time to give to others too, whether through your money or your time. So I think it's a matter of coming together and keeping in mind um, that we are all in different places and maybe struggling in different ways. And how can we lend a hand um, to one another during a season that I think is typically about giving? Another tip is that, you know, kids often take those cues from their parents. So if parents are visibly excited about the holiday, despite the obvious differences this year, kids might have an easier time catching on too. Reporting live, Madeline Natalie, Good Morning El Paso.